Right, let's go and get that bird back. Stupid bird. Stop following. Oh! Did my eyes deceive me? Did he just literally drop out of the sky and land on the spot? Well, I didn't think I would ever see that in all of my days. It's a thing. <laughs>Hey guys, it's Vex again. Welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved on the Standard Nerds server. Now, um, I thought I'd start off today's episode. Now, we're flying our way over to Jock's base, which is just over here. Um, he had a small incident with his favourite Argentavis, and so we bred our two best birds, and we're flying over to his place to drop off uh, an egg. So I thought we'd start off this episode today with a little base tour. We'll have a little look around Jock's base. I haven't been over here for a little while. It'd be nice to see how it's progressing. It looked really awesome last time I was here. So we'll do this. We'll drop off this egg. And then um, my plan for today is to do uh, a bunch of building. I need to get the base finished. I want to build the aviary and perhaps I'll do the lighthouse or maybe that'll be uh, a whole episode in itself. We'll just see how it goes for now. Here we are. Oh, wow, look. He has many more towers built than when I was last here. Now he did say that to drop the egg in the fridge in the main tower, which is the one with the aviary on top. So this this one in front here. Ah, there's his Quetzal that he captured in previous episode. Let's just land here. Uh, make sure I've got the egg in my inventory. There it is. Note to self, do not eat the egg. All right, you wait there. Let's have a little... Oh look, here's the fridge. Let's just drop this egg in the fridge like that. And there it is. A quick nose around. Oh, he's been making beer as well. His water. Oh, I like this aviary quite a lot. Oh, and there's Iron Man himself sleeping with the birds. Nice. I'm really quite impressed. his power cables. I wonder if he realises that he can hide those power cables. I must remind him that he can do that. I'm really very impressed. I like this a lot. I love the way it goes around the rocks. Some kind of breeding shenanigans going on up there. Anyway, let's just jump off. I think I can do this. Oh, that was further than I thought. Right, that's enough nosing around our neighbours. Ooh. Oh, there's more things. What's this? Not sure. Oh, he has a bunch of dinos here in the open. And his is a bridge job. Nice. Right. Let's head home and get this building on the go. I've I've done a bunch of stuff already. I finished off our little uh, like the the shade area around the marina and. Uh, that looks nice now. It's finished. There are a bit, a couple of bits about it that do annoy me, but um, it's taking far too much time for me to bother with those tiny little details. And I would very much like to get the aviary done so that uh, so that I can move my quetzals upstairs, upstairs. Um, we have been breeding uh, Megatherium, so that project is on the go, working towards getting the first boss done. Uh, the kiting cave, like we did in the previous episode, we got the two baby megatheriums bred up inside the kiting cave. Uh, doing that cave is no longer any kind of an issue, so I've been in there a few times and grabbed the artifacts. I've got three of those now. Um, I need to get the other caves all sorted so that we can have all of the artifacts. But first on the agenda for me is to get the megatherium army ready. Uh, we still need a male Euteranus to go with our female so that we can take Euteranus into the boss as well. Um, but we have other people on the server who are worrying more about the artifacts and things like that. So hopefully when it comes to doing the first boss, we're all going to let our powers combine and we'll have all of the bits that we need. Oh, I'm really low on stamina. I need to stop sprinting. Right, I'm going to go uh, home. So close yet so far. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to uh, show you what I've been doing at home.
and we're back again. So uh, I got back to the base and I was all prepared to get some building done and uh, I'd basically run out of everything. So I have spent a few hours gathering and uh, so I should be good to go now. Uh, but I thought I'd bring you back now as the base is redrawing so you can see what I've done. There's the the bridge still needs to be finished off. Don't don't look at the bridge. Don't look at the bridge. Right, there's the uh the cool kind of shade canopy thing on the uh on the marina, but as you can see in front there, I've made good progress on the start of the uh, aviary, the top of the base. Let's let the whole thing load in. Uh we'll just drop this anki off down here. Obviously, it will all be enclosed eventually. At the moment, it's just a uh, work in progress. But these will be the entrances for our flyers. Obviously, on a bit more of a delay than that. We've got this large area up here. Uh, it's all closed in at the moment, but there will be uh, an elevator access to downstairs because... And I'll show you... Oh, I feel so slow... We'll go inside the main door and you can see what I've done in here so just land down here right uh. stupid Quetzal is following the Anki okay it's fine he can go out there and follow the Anki I'll allow it right so what I did here it needs to be painted so I've extended this walkway out towards this wall here now, this is where I've been keeping the uh, Megatheriums for our army. We've got four at the moment. That's slow going. But we've got ceiling in here now. So I'm probably going to fill this room with Megatheriums. That'll be fun to get them all out to an obelisk. But we'll worry about that closer to the time. Now, up here, this has opened up a little more. I'm probably going to take those bits of wall off up there as well. And just leave this nice and open plan. And uh, this, I believe can be where I can breed my Quetzals and uh, Argentavis and things in there. It would be a nice place to keep them either side here. And then somewhere around here, I guess, I'm going to put a large elevator platform. Or I do believe we get an XL elevator platform with S+. Plus, and so I'll be using that. Let's go whoop, jump off here. Oh, So, uh, all right, let's go and get that bird back. Stupid bird. Stop following. Oh! Did my eyes deceive me? Did he just literally drop out of the sky and land on the spot? Well, I didn't think I would ever see that in all of my days. It's a thing. Excellent. Right, let's get this bird in. Unloaded. I've just been and got a bunch of metal from near the volcano. So I need to unload this Quetzal and uh, get that all smelting up. What well, have we got? 10, 25, 8, 28,000 metal or so. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's do it this way. Go like this. Anki and Quetzal. But we will only include the S plus Industrial Forge. And only metal. Because why else would I want to put anything else in the forge? Is this on? It is on and it is currently making metal. This is great. Okay, because we're very, very short on metal. Right, you can stay there. Let's get this ankylosaur back in. So I haven't done anything else in the ocean for a really, really, really long time. Um, but obviously there are some caves in the ocean. And so I'm going to need to get into that as well. Uh, I've just been putting off the base build for so long that I really just want to get it finished so that I can carry on with all these other things. I really like the industrial look that this place has. Can't wait to get it all finished and all painted up. Ugh. Slow ankylosaur. I have a male and a female Dodicarus now as well, so I was thinking maybe I should get them breeding up and get a get a little Dodicarus. Um, it's bound to be better than the uh, 
some of its parents, right? So that might work out good. Let's have a look. Ten more minutes and we can produce another Megatherium. Excellent. Uh, right, so... Building. Let's go and have a look at what we need. So this guy has an S plus crafting table on him for this exact purpose so that we can fly up here and build what we need to build on the fly. I might just get this turret to kill this Bronto. Hang on. What level are you Bronto? 30. Nothing. Right. Turret options. Uh, exclusion. Uh, just do like that. That's it. Yeah, come on. You can kill the Bronto. There we go. <laughs> nice. Right. So as you can see, I've started with the walls and the uh, sloped behemoth trapdoor jobs so that I can line up for... Can I turn this off? Where's the thing? Ooh. There we go. Right. So that I could size up the roof. Now I wanted these these parts to go higher than where I've got the stone ceilings there but I couldn't get them to line up properly. The roof parts will only snap to ceilings or the side of other roof parts. Um, and when I did, I built some walls up and put some ceilings up so that I could put more roof parts on there. It didn't line up, which was frustrating. So uh, I think we're just going to keep it a flat roof and uh, we'll worry about that kind of thing a bit later on. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll extend it up after the fact. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on around here with ceilings and uh, we're going to do a sloped roof on this other side to coincide with these. Um, but we'll do a slope all along the other side up there. So let's get that done. So we're going to need a whole lot of ceilings for this. But that's why the S plus crafting bench is here. So that we can go... Where is it? Stone? Stone. Let's have... Uh, Let's have 100 to start with. Get them on the go. Uh, do I have any in here? I do. I have 19. Look at that. Tons. I think I should better land a Quetzal up here. Without crashing and burning. Perfect. He's not on follow with anyone anymore. Good. But we should be able to get down here and at least put these few on. Let's go... Right, um, giant brontosaurus corpse. Okay, so ooh, this is over like rocky grass. I think I'm going to want to cover that up. So there'll probably be a raised platform area in the actual uh, base place. Um, actually, I think I'm going to need to go and put that wall up first. Really, I wanted to do the. I wanted to do the ceiling first so I could do the walls coming down so it wouldn't matter so much if they didn't meet at the bottom because I know that's going to be a thing. Um, let's just have a little counting with Vex. One, uh, how many wide is the frame? One, two, three, four. Okay. So five from the wall I can probably just count, right? So, one, two, three, four. No, let's. I need to. Uh, I need to land and get off and do the counting that way, because I can't see what I'm doing. Plus, those ceilings are hopefully done, right? Can't take them all. Could take half of them though. Drop down here, right? Let's have a quick sprint up here. See where we're at. Because if we can get away with it, this might actually work out quite easy. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we go like this, this is five, right? So five, two, three, four. Yes, we should 
be able to go all the way along here in confidence that this is the exact right height. Fingers crossed. How many more? One, two, another one. That's it. Excellent. Right, I'll take this all the way along. I haven't got enough, I bet. No, only ten more. Oh, cheap. Right, I will run all the way around this frustrating, magical floating ceiling piece. Obviously, none of this would be possible without S+, and the uh, setting that says that things don't require support. I mean, I will be putting support in. It just means that we don't have to build our walls first, so it does make things slightly easier. Let's have a little grab of the rest of these. We can go from this side this time. Okay. This uh, area here, which doesn't have a slope on it, provides a nice square area to store some of the smaller flyers on some kind of a, like a high up roost kind of a deal. Okay, let's take this across here like this, because I think I'm going to have like skylight strips along these. Ooh, only just. Uh, I think it will be three to coincide with the sloped trapdoors. This is going to require a hell of a lot more ceilings than this. Okay, so I am going to finish this ceiling and then I'll bring you guys back because you don't need to watch me place ceilings over and over again. And we're back again. So look, I finished the uh, the stone ceiling parts of the roof and uh, I tried to start doing the slopey part here, but as I suspected, I can only snap them to the side of other uh, sloped roofs. Um, so that means I had to build or start building this wall. So this is what I've done. Uh, I had to build this porch thing to hide some slightly dodgy wall placement in there, but this seems to have worked rather well. So this comes out at the top of this hill here. The loot drop comes down just... just about here. So uh, we can come out and grab that nice and easily. Uh, I think it looks really cool from the outside. The pillars are also to hide some gaps, but again, I think that looks quite nice. Uh, I just need to put another single pillar on the top there to finish that off. And uh, we have this sort of raised area here, which I think I'm probably going to keep RGs here or maybe the Pteranodons. I'm not sure. I haven't decided what will live here yet, but something will. Um, we've got this nice open window area here because of the lovely view. And uh, we've continued the stone and glass uh, theme. So... We've got these big double windows everywhere because uh, this is the place which is nice. Uh, there's a nice view. So uh, you want to be able to see. We don't want to block too much of that off. So uh, I think these slots are going to have like uh, giant greenhouse roofs um, in them. Like uh, pointy skylight jobs. Uh, I haven't worked out exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but I think I'm going to have to finish these walls before I uh, deal with all of that. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you a quick update. Things that are going on, things that are happening. Um, I'm going to crack on, do a little bit more of this building, and I'll bring you guys back when I've got some more wall to show you. And we're back. And we're not just back, but we're also done. The aviary, ladies and gentlemen, is complete. Well, all right, the outside part of the aviary is complete. We have exits to the rest of the island. We've got the cool porch bit over there. And we've got the three slanted hatchway entrances. 
and uh, these are the giant skylights that I came up with. Um, I thought about changing the uh, window models so that it wasn't quite so crisscrossy, but in the end, I think I actually quite like it like that. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So uh, I'm obviously I'm not completely finished. I need to bring power up here and uh, all sorts of things like that. But power can wait. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to... I'm going to paint it. So S Plus has its own spray gun. So uh, let's go to my painting box in here. Oh, actually, while we're here, let's see. You should be ready to go. I've been building for ages. Let's have that back. Right, behavior, enable wandering. Uh, are you? Enable wandering. Done it. They're both hitched up. Are you not ready? You're ready. You're ready. Do you mind? No one's talking to you. I'll get you someone eventually. Right. Here we go. They're, they're getting busy. Right. So that's going to be at least 10 minutes, I think it is, until that baby is ready. So that gives us plenty of time to get some uh, painting done. So I think this is my painting box. It is. So I've got one spray paint for black and one for red. Uh, let's take... Oh, don't need that much. Let's take some of the colour like that. Right, then I'll show you how these bad boys work. They're really quite useful. Let's just fly back up here for now. I haven't built uh, the elevator in or anything like that yet, but uh, we'll get to that. Uh, these things are on manual for now so that I can walk on them. It is a big pain to get in and out. Let's see. Can I? There we go. Right. Let's just drop down on here and then we can have a look and see what we want to do. So let's take the black. All of it's enabled at the moment. Oh, actually, I think that's just fine. <laughs> After all that, I think I'm just going to do it like this. Well, let's see what the red looks like. Mm, oh, I don't know actually now. Oh, has that made the glass red as well? Oh dear, that's not so great, is it? Um, oh, maybe it is. Let's 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 leave it like that. We'll have a red stripe down the middle. Because who wouldn't want a stripe? It is actually making the glass red. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if that means that we'll get red light shafts in the uh, in the base down there. Are these even? They look a bit wonky. But I think they're actually fine. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, that's wrong. Incorrect. There we go. Right, let's get the black on. Oh, hang on. Let's do the red down here. Come on. And then the black. Oh, this is so much better than doing it the uh, old-fashioned way. And that's with a paintbrush. You should never ever inflict that on yourself when the S Plus spray can is to hand. There we go. Alright, I think I'll do the sides just black. Because it's nice and simple. It makes all of those dodgy, rusty parts blend in. Okay, the stone on the outside of the build won't be changing colour. But the floor inside will probably be uh, black and red areas like the downstairs. Not the uh, checkerboard of the upstairs, but the the solid colour stripes. 
Okay, right. I am going to carry on and get the rest of this painted up. And I'll bring you back for a final fly round to see what the place has turned out like. And there it is in all its black and red glory. I'm really pleased with this. I think I'm going to go around the top with some uh, railings and stuff. And obviously we'll bring power up. Oh, here comes the rain. Yay, rain. Just in time for me to say, I think that's all we've got time for for this episode. Uh, cheers for hanging out with me and supporting the channel over the last few weeks, like those of you who have been. Um, check the description for links to all my social media pages. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my uh, Twitch channel at uh, twitch.tv forward slash Tyrannosaurus underscore Vex. I'm sorry, it is a bit of a mouthful, but I'm sure you can get there somehow. The links are all in the down there. And so until next time, this has been an epic build episode. But cheers for coming along. I've been Vex. You've been great. And until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>